Hello, welcome. Today I want to show you a really cool way of putting sticky notes for web pages and also highlighting text on a web page. So you can click there, get a sticky note, type what you want. If you type so much, you'll start getting a little scroll bar here. Just so if you're typing a lot, you don't it won't like stretch down and take up a lot of space. You can put it as small as that's as small as the note will go. And you can also highlight text, so you just click the highlighter up here. You know, you just click and go over the text, easy to use. Um, there's four different colors, so you just click here, you can delete or change through the colors. The default color is yellow, I like blue for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so basically, what this is great for... It's not like you post the note on your computer screen and you have to stay on that web page or, you know, it looks stupid being there. Well, it'll look stupid anyways, but at least it would have a point then. So, if I went to, um, fail blog, those two things I did are no longer there, but if I go to Google, again, loads the things up and what you just did is still there so you can share it with some friends in that organizer just lets you organize things around so if we go to web notes you can do view my web notes submit feedback upgrade to the pro version so let's just go to the web notes for a minute And as you can see here, it shows you what you've done. I've got a little thing to kind of show me my ideas I've done for what I want to do for YouTube. Uh, you can choose if you want to delete these. You can delete them also over here. Just click the X. Updates over here. You can right click, delete this whole thing. Um, if you delete all the things right here, so if I delete that there, the web page that you post notes to will still be there, but if you just want to get rid of it, right click, click delete, and it's gone. So while you're in the organizer here, you can also just, there's a report generator. This is where you upload PDFs. So you can upload some PDFs and you can actually do the same thing to PDF files. It's all very handy for school work or some business work, depending on what you do. It's really especially good for like papers and that you gotta do for school, because you won't have to print out a page of that to highlight it. You won't have to like copy it over to Word and bold it or something for the keywords or that. Just highlight it right on the website. And when you go back to the website, it's there. So if I go back up here and go to Upgrade to Pro, so basically they have three options here. You got the web notes basic. So you just get the basic stuff. You get a two weeks trial of the web notes pro. So with the basic you just get the highlighting and sticky notes, the main features. You get a couple other things. Uh with when you upgrade to the pro version, you get the PDF annotations. Uh you also get the multicolor highlighting. So in the basic you won't get the blue and all that you'll just get the yellow highlighting uh, if you're a student you get 50 percent off so you just use this code right here and if it's a school or business you got going you can use this over here there's a couple different things got a little dedicated site or that I don't really see that being much use but I can see that being useful to some people because some people like to highlight things different colors than that. It's just handy. And I'm sure lots of people have PDFs they want to use as well. So I exit that. <clears throat> and hope you guys enjoy. Oh. I almost forgot to tell you guys the actual website. Let's go back here for a minute. So the website's webnotes.net. 
Uh, they also show a little demo here. So you can actually do a demo before you download it onto your computer. Which is a good little feature. And basically, just sign up, get your account going, put it on your computer, and away you go. So, I'll have any links in the description for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed.